Eliezer ben Yehuda would have been most content had Israelis spoken Biblical Hebrew, which he, and many others indeed, considered the purest form of Hebrew. The Sephardic pronunciation, for example, with a more Semitic pharyngeal consonant, a, ha, ka, pa, so, and word final stress, was preferred to the Ashkenazic one. But Israeli phonology and phonetics are, by and large, European rather than Semitic. Compare, for example, the Hebrew syllable structure, CV, CVC, with the Israeli one, S, SH, C, C, V, C, C, S, SH. C stands for consonant, V stands for vowel. Or juxtapose the Hebrew pharyngealized emphatic consonants, Ka, Ta, So, with their phonetic realization in Israeli, Ka, Ta, Tsa. Or the Hebrew alveolar trill, R, realized phonetically in Israeli as a lax uvular approximant, R, despite huge efforts by the Hebrew normativists to eradicate it. Finally, in Hebrew, the f, v, ch sounds were what linguists call allophones of the phonemes p, b, k sounds. So, you could not find two words that differ in meaning because one has a p and the other has a f. P and f in Hebrew were in complementary distribution. For example, p at the end of the word was always pronounced f. Israeli, however, is totally different. P and F in Israeli are two distinct phonemes. For example, you can say lefachot, at least, and lepachot, to fewer, less people. So I can utter in Israeli a sentence like Ani noten tziyun shel lefachot 70% lepachot studentim. I give a grade of at least 70% to fewer students. This differentiation or bifurcation could never happen in Hebrew, the ancient language of the Biblical Isaiah, but does happen in Israeli, the language of Isaiah Leibovitch, yet another prophet, but from the 20th century. Another example, le'aper means to put makeup on someone's face. Le'aper means to ash your cigarette, to put the ash of your cigarette in the ashtray. Ashtray in Israeli is ma'afera. Le'aper and le'afer constitute a minimal pair that could not exist in Hebrew, but it does exist in Israeli. The same applies to b and v. Lehitchaber, to link, versus lehitchaver, to become friends with someone. Lehishtabetz, to be inserted, to be slotted, versus lehishtavetz, to have a stroke. Israeli phonology ab initio, from the very beginning of Israeli, was different from the Hebrew one, as it was based not only on Hebrew, but also on Yiddish and other European languages, where P and F are two distinct phonemes. The Hebrew revivalists attempted to deny their more recent roots in search of biblical ancientness, to negate diasporism and disown the weak, dependent, persecuted, homosexual, feminine, exilic Jew, and to avoid hybridity as reflected in Slavonized, Romance, Semitic influenced, Germanic Yiddish itself, which they despised. But these attempts failed, at least partially. In this section, I introduced you to the founder principle. In the next section, I shall explore with you the congruence principle.